watch the boogeyman. Welcome to the Inferno. I'm Papa John, and I'm here to guide you through all the hellish sides of horror. And today I'm continuing my Conjuring Universe review series with The Conjuring 2, directed by James Wan, one of the greatest horror directors of all time. And I will say, it's one of the best horror sequels of the 2000s. It's a great sequel, but... I'm not quite as big of a fan as a lot of other people, and so let's get started. And so you have the Warrens traveling to basically take care of the British version of Amityville to try and prove these sequences so the, the Vatican can bring an exorcist, the church can bring an exorcist in. And you have a great story there that involves like media and skeptics, and it does a great job building the family, making you feel for the family. So making it to where you want them all to survive. And it does a great job kind of subtly introducing you to stuff like Valak in the beginning and then having this big confrontation at the end and just stuff like that. And it does a great job. It's extremely well written. I like a lot of what they explore. It's visually great. It's well shot. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are as good as they have ever been. They're amazing in this movie. They're amazing in these two roles. You can really see the love the two characters have for each other in this movie. You kind of get a good exploration of like Lorraine's kind of special abilities and everything. The one, my main thing with this movie that really holds it back to living up to the first movie is it loses a lot of the subtlety there, there's a lot of subtlety in here. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great moments, especially involving stuff moving on its own and line work and just subtlety where you don't see things, but you where you don't see like the ghosts or demons or something, but stuff moves. You know, that sort of subtlety type of horror. But as a whole, this is kind of the movie where it starts to lose some of the subtlety. Now, don't get me wrong. Other genres can thrive without subtlety. For instance, like slashers can thrive without subtlety. Other genres can, you know, zombies can. Pretty much every other genre can. But for me, paranormal horror has to be subtle. Other subgenres can get away with it. Paranormal horror, to me, for the most part, can't. That's just a personal thing, I guess. But my main issue is I prefer ghosts that either look like they're possibly humans so you don't so they can blend in or ghosts that you don't actually see or like a demon possesses someone so they're like look human they can blend in and this movie does a lot of that and the first movie that's what made the first movie as good as it was but when you start getting heavily makeup nuns in there and that's no fault necessarily of the movie or anything i'm sure the makeup department they did a great job, and they should be applauded for that. But when it comes to, like, my personal taste, that loses subtlety for me. When you put too much makeup on someone, it starts to look like you're trying too hard to make them look scary that they end up not looking scary. That's my problem with the Bill Skarsgård so, um, Pennywise. It's not because the performance is bad. It just looks like he's trying too hard to look scary rather than letting the ambiance provide the horror. And the Crooked Man is kind of even worse than the Nun when it comes to the subtlety of everything. But it, don't get me wrong, it's still an amazing, amazing movie. One of the best sequels out there, especially within the paranormal demon possession subgenre. So what circle of hell does The Conjuring 2 belong in? I think it's a great movie, it's an amazing sequel. But it does lose some of the subtlety that made the first one so amazingly great and so horrifyingly scary. But it's still a great movie that is honestly extremely, extremely close to being among the best of the best. But I'm going to put it just below that in the first circle of hell, right at the top of the various degrees of greatness. 
So go ahead and tell me your thoughts on The Conjuring 2 in the comment section down below. I know a lot of people actually prefer this over the first one. For me, it's not even really that close, even if I do think it's an amazing movie. But go ahead and tell me your thoughts nonetheless. And if you enjoyed this review, go ahead and smash that thumbs up icon. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well to stay up to date on The Conjuring Universe Review series. And as always, have one hell of a good time.